Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So in this project, we are very excited to show how we can use a web server to control the LEDs using the ESP32 development kit friends. So in this one, we are hosting the web server onto the ESP32 and controlling the LEDs from the laptop or a desktop or a mobile friends using the IP address friends. This ESP32 web server project. So, what are the things that are required, friends? The first, the most important one will be the ESP32 development kit version 1, friends. You can see it over here. E ESP32 development kit version 1. The second, the most important one will be the in order to get the power, we need to take it as USB A at one side and a micro B at other side, friends. So this is the cable in order to flash and get the power from the laptop, friends. You can see it over here. And for the connections, we need to have it as a breadboard. You can see it over here, friends. In this project, we are controlling the two LEDs. One is a red, another one is a blue. You can see the red and blue. LED friends. So for this one, we are taking as a two 220 ohm resistors. You can see it over here. For the connections, I am taking as in a male to male jumper wires friends. So you can see it over here, male to male jumper wires. So these are the required resources for this project friends. See the live connections friends. So now I am taking the ES ESP32 board, the micro B USB onto the top hand side I kept. So this is the view I am taking over friends. So here you can see this is the ESP32 board. I am taking one red LED, one blue LED with connected with as a 220 ohms. So like this I have taken. Now let us see the connection friends. From D2 you can see I am taking the connecting wire and, and handovering on to the red LED friends. And from D4, I am taking the connections and I am handovering on to the blue LED friend. And I am taking from the ground, you can see it over here. And I am giving on to the resistor friend. So this is the a, a typical a connection board for the ESP32 web server where we are controlling the two LED sprints that is a red and blue which is connected over the 2 and 4 this is the D2 and D4 friends so this is the connecting diagram friends now let us see the live connection friends on to the one of the side ESP32 I mounted onto the breadboard, breadboard friends so you can see it over here now I am taking the red LED, anode is one side, cathode is one side, blue LED, anode is one side, cathode is one side friends. So I am keeping over here and I am taking a two wires over D2, you can uh, see it over here friends, here see D2 and D4 nearby and here, you can see the D2 and D4 and I am taking and D21, I am connecting on to the red LED. And yeah, sorry. And D4, I am connecting on to the blue LED friends. Okay, you can see it over here. And I am taking a two, two resistors. You can see it over here. I am taking over to here and I am keeping on to the common. And the second uh, resistor also I am taking. I am taking from here. And I am keeping on to the here friends. From this ground, I am taking this is the ground. And I am taking on to the here. The second pin will be the ground friends from the top. So you can uh, see it over here. First one is 3.3. .3, the second one will be the ground. Uh, sorry. The second one will be the ground friends. The third one is the D15. Then followed by as a D2, D4. In between. There is a D, D15 is there friends. So you can connect it to the ground. The ground is nothing but the second pin from here. Then D2, D4. D2 is connected to the red LED. And D4 is connected to the blue LED. These two things is connected 
to brown by using 220 resistor frame so this is the connection finally i'm taking the micro usb and connecting over here then the second the then this one this is the usb a i need to connect to the laptop for flashing and getting the power print so this is the live connection friends so now let us see some of the things in the code work friends the esp32 web server is behaving into the three parts friends the first part is nothing but it is behaving like a station and it will try to connect it to the access point that is nothing but SSID and if you give the password it will try to connect on to the mini car or a hyper terminal it will try to print the local IP print so, so in order to access the ESP32 we require the local IP print so this is the step number one the step number two ESP32 inside the code we are making the web server prints the web server code we are placing over here it is nothing but the esp it is also behaving like a server friends the third thing is esp32 is behaving like as an after receiving the response from the client so it will try to control the led friends so these are the three parts we have to discuss inside the code friends so this is the three main blocks we need to implement inside the code friends now i have opened the uh, arduino ide 2.1.0 friends so now you i have select the esp32 development code from the board type and i have installed the required libraries so i have included the wifi.h and web server.h so in this one i am giving my access access point name and the credential to it and i was uh, giving the port number as 80 and the wi-fi server wi-fi server is a class and instance is the server and i am creating the header friends so i am using as an, an output 2 and 4 that is led state i am making as off and off and output number the led is numbers and the g5 numbers i am mentioning as a 2 and 4 and the current time i was maintaining the mail is friends the time duration between the responses i am maintaining as a 2 seconds friends in the set of functions i am uh, enabling the ur with the board at 1,15,200 and the pin mode is an output and the state is low and i was giving a print is connecting to and wi-fi dot begin ssid and password i am giving if it is connected successfully the wi-fi status will be giving as a wl connected friends until it has been connected it will be looping over here and after that on the serial port you can see the local ip which is printing so this local ip is very important in order to connect with the web server friends so all these things is happening inside the setup the last one is server.begin so now after you are having the local ip the server will be begin so next one will be the loop function friends the client if is giving the request if the client is present so it was telling the new client is there and it is between the current time and the previous time if it's less than two seconds and the client is connected it is going to serve its request friends so whatever it is uh, getting onto this one it was printing on the serial dot write c you are getting onto here friends and we are uh, giving a response that http 1.1200 that is called a success status we are handovering on to the client friends so once we have received the request so we are passing that is header dot index of if it is having as a get that is a rest api with the two on the gpio2 on we are making as in state is on and we are writing as a digital write friends so similarly we are making the other leds based on the state if it's on mean on off mean off and we are recording its status and we are driving the particular led friends now let us coming on to the server server web page so doc doc type it will be there before going on to here we need to learn some of the basics so i'm opening over here friends so the the web server which is always starting with the doc type html the the start one will be the html the last one will be the html and the head will be there body will be there so these are the major things we need to see it over here friends so like this it has been be there so now let us moving on to the here first one is doc type and it is having html so you can see the last one is also printed onto the html so it was ending with html and it is ending with the body 
so and inside the head what we are going, going to give it as and how the content it has to be displayed on a given device on to the style we are making the font size and creating the buttons the button and button to where background and foreground sound uh, foreground color and border we are representing friends and inside the body we can write the headers h1 to h6 we are using the header one that is esp32 web server and we are printing our alex arduino projects and whose values creative innovative and simplifying and if you like this content please like share comment and subscribe we are uh, printing on to the web server page friends and gpio state we are printing because we have the output stage and gpio 4 state is also we are printing friends and here is h reference if you click the button onto that one it will try to append it to on to the uh, ip address friends with a get and if you are pressing off button it will try to put two off and the similar things will be do for the gpio 4 that is nothing but the other led friends so now i have connected the board to it board to the laptop so now let me go to the sketch verify and compile you can see it over here friends it is compiling and now it is taking time to now it is successfully compiled friends so now let us go and click the upload or flash friends so now you can see and it was showing the compiling the sketch and after that we try to see so now it is connecting c it over here friends uploading it is writing into the flash friends now you can see 100 percent is completed so now leaving so like this we can flash into the esp32 board friends